Welcome back to M Hood Fishing. I'm back on Elmer's. I'm down here with my friend Ray. However, he's out there. What we got going on here is an incoming tide. It is a little later than usual for us. It took us a little longer to get here for some reason this morning. High tide is at 11.20 this morning. It is almost 7 a.m. We're gonna see what we can do. Ray has a focus on sharks and I might as well have a focus on sharks as well. But one foot waves is what we got going on here. Fairly calm. I'm looking out here to see if there's any crazy blow ups because I would like a day of all kinds of things, not just shark. So let's see what I can make happen. Come along. First thing we're gonna do is throw a sabiki. See if we can pick up some fresh bait. When it's this calm, I usually wanna just come out and wade fish. I don't see any crazy blow ups yet. Hanging out here with the sabiki for a while will let us know what's up. Do you see any crazy action out there? Nothing crazy, but they got some stuff out there. Okay. I can come out a good ways. I'm only up to my crotch at the moment. I can come out further. It's high tide, so I can't get out as far as I would normally want to. And we got a good ways for this, good bit of time, right, for this to come in. There's some fish blowing up right there. I might have to move this stuff. This is a spot along the beach that we haven't fished very often in a while real close to the parking lot it's a tuesday so we just made it easy on ourselves absolutely no joy from the sabiki i know what i'm doing next pumping a rig is exactly what i was thinking exactly what i'm doing just a little bit of fish bites on each hook oh it didn't take one minute So I'm doing this to get whiting if you don't know. <clears throat> There's other things that will hit this pompano here at this spot. A lot of times hardheads hit the fish bites. But we got us a whiting that time. Look at that. And that is a good one. That is prime bait right there. You can also eat that. It's good fish to eat. Are you hooked up? Okay. I'm in the middle of getting my shark rig ready. So we're going to go ahead and just throw that back out there. Just into the waves. Maybe we'll pick up another whiting while we're tying up the rig. I'm using a standard shark rig today. This is five foot long, the whole thing. My main line is 80 pound braid. Then I have this really thick mono leader. I'm using four ounces of lead. That's on a sinker slide. And then I have very strong steel leader here. A nine knot circle hook, a big piece of whiting there. This time I'm going to walk out to put my bait out instead of the kayak. Look out here in front. We're starting to see blow up something, chasing bait around. I wanna get this out real quick and see if we can get whatever this is. Could be trout. That's kind of what I was hoping, the seas being so calm today that I would see trout blowing up. When you stop and think about it, it can be a little unsettling to realize that you're walking out into a feeding frenzy. There's something freaking out, but I don't think it's big fish. I think it's small fish busting smaller fish. You can see them, they're right in front of me. There's little tiny fish and then stuff the size of croaker or small trout or white trout or something. I know there's leather jackets out here. The kind, you know, with those spines on the back. Ray just got one in the net. So that could be what we see jumping around. I'll probably run a bait out myself in the kayak soon. Well, 
what do we got? Look at that, little needlefish. Actually, that is not a needlefish. I'm not sure what that is. Weird. Look at that. Well, I got something here. I don't feel big. I feel it though. Look at that, another whiting. Oh man, I don't feel anything. It was definitely, definitely got a hit and it was taking line. Oh, wait a minute, it is here. It is here. Oh, it does that to me sometimes, they fool you. Rick! Whoa, I got a double. fighting two fish at once one is big one is small oh cool i got another whiting more bait for me just throw that over here all right back to the main show here ray has gone miles out i don't think he's had a bite yet he's gone through quite a bit of bait He's got his really big rod out here. It's got a lot of line capacity. His big bait, excuse me, big bait caster. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a shark. Could be wrong, could be a big bull. I've not had a clear sight of this fish yet. It's not far away, just right in front of us, but it's been running like crazy. I won't be surprised if it tries to do another run here real soon. It's just holding tight at the moment. Coming this way, it's trying to do a run right there. I'm gaining line on him though. I saw a dorsal, but I'm not sure what kind yet. Probably a shark. Yeah, it's a shark. I see his dorsal. That is definitely a shark.
let the waves push him up. It's about average size I've been getting out here. And smaller, but this is a good one. They do get a lot bigger, of course. It's probably like a 40, 50 pound fish, maybe somewhere around there. Oh, it's a nice one. Look at that. Hefty. Yeah, you're right. Don't know what it is still, but I'm happy. Let's get her back. All right, thank you so much. All right, guys, fun day, but kind of slow, right? For some of us. Oh, yeah. So thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see, wait a minute, down in the description is a link to Rig PFA. Go over there and check out Ray's channel, and I will see you next time.